Adelaide's National War Memorial unveiled officially on Anzac Day 1931. It stands suitably on our Grand Avenue on North Terrace, set back on what was originally part of the Governor's Garden. There's a lot of background on it on the Adelaidea website. As the names in the crypt within so vividly remind us, World War I impacted so heavily on South Australian families, on all of our towns and communities. 5,511 men were lost, 15,000 were wounded, and all of them who came back were affected, some of them profoundly for the rest of their lives. When I was a kid on a visit to town, this reverse side of the memorial was quite daunting, very solemn, almost scary. That winged figure was called by the designers the spirit of sacrifice or the spirit of compassion. And you can see the woman figure holding a, a quite small, very young man. At least that's what it looked to me. And she became a mother or a wife or a girlfriend who would never see their young men again. Now, a century on, many of us have stories that have been passed on down through our families about World War I. In my case, my mum told me about two photos that were on the mantelpiece at home when she was a kid. They were the two brothers that her mother never saw again. They never got home to Mount Gambier. Now, fortunately, just a couple of years ago, our family made a pilgrimage on behalf of those who'd lost those boys. We found Henry, his name, on the Great Australian War Memorial at Villa Bretonneur, Henry Thomas. His body was never found, but with the help of the battalion diary, we could work out where he was. It was in the first Battle of Bullocor in 1917, and he is buried to this day in what is now a farmer's wheat field just by the sunken road between the village of Bullocor and the next village, Freecourt. His brother, Jack Thomas, well, he nearly made it to the end. He was killed in August 1918. We don't know exactly where he fell, but he does have a headstone in one of the many small Australian war cemeteries strung along the Western Front. We picked poppies from just outside the Asavia Cemetery and we placed them on his gravestone for his mum. If you have stories, we hope you'll share them too on the Adelaidea website.